Hey guys, Dolphin Oracle here again today. Last video I showed off MX Workbench, a custom spin of MX Linux. Wanted to show and how easy it was to customize your own stuff with the special custom toolbox tool. Got one more spin for you. It's a custom spin of MX is done by one of the senior forum members, Steve-O. Uh, it is a MX16 version of his KDE spin. We're going to show that off here real quick. Okay, so here we are. I've got the KDE MX spin in loaded in virtual box. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that this is not Plasma 5. It is not Plasma 5. It is KDE 4. Um, remember, MX lives in the Debian stable world, and this is what we've got. So if you're looking for Plasma 5, keep looking. But if you're looking for a nice, stable KDE 4 desktop, with a lot of the MX goodness baked right in and the Andex Live USB system and all the snapshot stuff, well, you're in the right place. So what he's done, uh, what Steve-O has done, is he has made a very nice KDE desktop. Now, the XFCE desktop is still available under the hood. You can switch at the login manager. You can switch out to XFCE if you want to, so it's there. But it defaults to KDE. And so we got the Dolphin File Manager, which a lot of people like because you got the dual window thing going on. And there's a lot of extra features in here. A lot of root action fe features are configured for your use. So very nice, very full featured. Uh, if you hit F4, you get the terminal built into to Dolphin. Uh, that is pretty nice, I must say. All the uh, the bells and whistles you expect for with Dolphin to work work. Uh, again, I want to mention this is a spin. It's not an officially supported KDE distro with, from the MX group. But, I mean, there's a lot of KDE users in the MX forum. So, you know, if you try this and you have a couple issues, throw a post in the, K in the MX modified or KDE sections. I'm sure someone will be able to help you out. Uh, down here in the thing, we've got the app notifier. We've got the uh, USB unloader tool. Although it loads up here instead of down here, that is odd. Okay, uh, we got a clipboard manager. We got a couple of network tools. Why there's two, I'm not exactly sure. But I'm not a KDE user. Maybe somebody else knows that. Uh, there's another uh, mount tool, available devices tool, power manager. You got the widget bar down here at the bottom for for you know customizing that stuff. And there's some there's some wallpapers in here. And there's the MX wallpapers are here, and there's some other there's some other wallpapers as well. Uh, Oh, there we go. Just took a second. Uh, you know, we've got all the all the KDE goodness you could want here with the customization. There's a lot of themes included, but uh, but other than that, it's a basic KDE desktop. Uh, we've got. Uh, let's see here. What's this? This is another. Uh, this is an activity manager. Again, I'm not a big KDE user, but uh, so I know some of you guys out there have been wanting a KDE in MX, and this is it. Um, Let's see, applications. Here we go. So we go to development here. We got a diffuse tool, education. There's some miscellaneous stuff, marble and a globe, and some LibreOffice math. There's some games. Um, so, okay, so now we got some of the, the KDE tools you've come to know and love. Did you, uh, uh, let's see here color paint. We've got ocular. There's a panorama tool. Um, there's a, another photo editor, show photo. Uh, we've got uh, Conqueror, uh, for those of you that, a lot of um, network monitors here, a lot of KDE-specific stuff. Uh, notes, there's a lot here. There, the, 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 the download is about 200 megabytes larger than the regular uh, MX Zisto. So there's a lot here. There, there's, a, there's a lot of new in here. KDE is probably the biggest chunk of that. Um, some of the MX tools, though, and here's one reason why it's not an official spin. Some of these MX tools aren't going to work because they're XFCE particular. Uh, most of them are going to work fine, but like default look here, it's going to tell you this app is XFCE only. Yeah. This is still going to open. I need to fix that. But um, there are uh, a lot of the other tools are going to work just fine. And in fact, a, a lot of them found their original home in Mepis 12, which was a KDE based distro. So a lot of the tools will work just fine, but some of them will not. Uh, MX System Sounds will not work at all because the System Sounds tool is XFC specific. Those tools aren't meant for KDE. And for KDE, uh, they are meant for 
Annex. But stuff like the driver installers, that should all work. The uh, Broadcom tool, that should work. Codex installer, select a default sound card. All the software tools, all that stuff should work um, in, in MX, uh, in this KDE spin. So you can see, I don't know much about KDE, but here it is. Check it out. Throw up a post over in MX Modified if you need to. I'll throw a link to the forum in my notes down below. And have fun with it. Uh, it's it's KDE. It's a KDE, KDE based spin with the MX Flare uh, and the Annex Live USB and Snapshot system all rolled up into one great big matzo ball. So have fun with it. For tips, tricks, how to's, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forums.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.